up here in Amskapi uh, Pikani Other people think it's uh, Glacier National Park <laughs> in the Rocky Mountains, northern Montana, right on the border of uh, Alberta. And we're climbing Chief Mountain, which doesn't look so formidable from here. But if I showed you from where we started, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's quite something. It's the most prominent mountain on the rocky, northern rocky front on the eastern slopes. Anyway, wanted to plug my favorite, um, my favorite sandal, my favorite hiking sandal. I'm a barefooter normally, so I only wear something on my feet if I'm doing some business and I need to look civil. <laughs> so in that case, I usually go for sandals. They're not looking civil today, but we just ended up climbing this big scree slope that was brutal, brutal, just killer. And um, putting them through the test, well, I don't even have to put them through the test. I've done this with them before. This is my second pair of this same uh, design of Keen sandals. I think they might be called the Newports, but I'm not sure. But in any case, um, they're very durable. I used to tear sandals up like I'd buy Walmart cheapos, even Birkenstock a little expensive. Walmart cheapos might last me a month and Birkenstocks might last me a season, but the Keens have lasted me, like my first pair lasted me three years. And uh, I, I'm happy to see that they're still making the exact same model. So I bought these and uh, climbing right up Chief Mountain with them and they're doing great. They're awesome. So the only funny thing about them is there's this little tag on the side that lets me know they're waterproof. <laughs> How does being waterproof become a selling point for sandals? I don't know. I, w I wonder if there's non-waterproof sandals. <laughs> but other than that, you know, um, that's kind of goofy, but other than that, these are these are awesome footwear. I definitely recommend them for anybody that wants a durable hiking sandal.